Okay, that's face cam one. The only started. place worst face cam two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna sink it. Okay. All right. All right. Hi guys and welcome to the internet. So this is the first video Rosie and I have done where we plan to make no cuts, no edits, mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. Um, the reason we're doing this is because we asked you if you guys would want to see it and you all You said, think you do. <laughs> you think you want to see you this. You think you do. So there's no music, there's no jump cuts, no nothing. Um, we have a lot to say actually, don't we? Yeah. And we started out on YouTube not really speaking to anyone, just each other. I was drunk most of the time. I mean, some things never change, but I think it's important that sometimes you go full circle and start doing what you what you originally began and set out doing. And I think, I it's, think it's good for of, a change. It's good to change it up. And also, yeah. I kind of like the idea of talking to you. Rather yeah, we're than... not going to talk too much to you, if you don't mind. We're going to ignore you. Yeah, it's going to be more like, this camera's going to be like, I did just burp a little bit while I speak. Let it out. I'll, I'll just cut it out. Don't worry about it. Ah, <laughs> it's a joke because we're not doing that now. Um, but I want the camera to be like a window to our relationship and we're just talking and you can just watch. Yeah, because And there's like... no cut. Even though I think that this particular video we're going to do would be way peppier and funnier and I think okay, we could do stop, a lot with editing. Stop saying how much you better it would be if we edited. That's not how you sell this playlist. No, just this one video. But anyway... Have you got nits or something? <laughs> Sorry, I was going to write. That's where I'd probably put a cut in and then skip to something else and yeah. like transition to fate. Anyway, so... Another reason why we're doing this is because um, through no fault of my own, I came across a few things online the other day that um, kind of highlighted one of the reasons why I originally wanted to do this playlist, the uncut playlist. Yeah. Um, more about that in a minute, but yeah. uh, why don't we first tell them about some of the things we're going to be reacting to yeah. today. So today, because we didn't want to have no theme, although we could have had no theme. That's how we, we started. The theme was our love. Sometimes you had themes. The theme was our love. Okay, the theme was our love. <laughs> um, we decided to react to false facts about us on the internet. Right. Um, it's a video that we were never going to originally do because we don't we don't really get mean comments. Yeah, and we don't really like to go looking for it because I no. think that's a dangerous game. So In fact, we haven't actually gone looking for mean years. feedback for five years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. So let's just... Yeah, so there so, are places on the internet, right, where... Um, People have their own opinions, that's fair enough. Yeah, it's called Twitter. Uh, yeah. Uh, and there's Thanks. places where they... <laughs> yeah. Well, there's places where they anonymously can talk about us. And we stopped looking at anything like that years ago and never went back because I think it's toxic. I think it's I'm toxic. I'm not saying that those people aren't entitled to their opinions because they are, but I'm saying that is it healthy... No, but as like, a creator, you don't go and look for negative, um, like, criticism. Some people because, do, but it makes you unhappy. I mean, it made me unhappy, mm. and it didn't actually make me productive no. or, or, like, positive. And when we stopped uh, looking at that shit, we had the best years of our life, in, in personal and, like, career-wise. Yeah, we it did. Just, things got better. We did. It's just, like, totally... And like, I'm almost, like, superstitious, so I don't really like to... If that's the case, if it's been better now, I don't want to go back to that place. So... To bring it back to how I found this place this week, I was stumbled through across. no fault of my own. Um, I was actually Google image searching a picture um, in order to reply to Camila Cabello, uh, one of her tweets, right? Which I never ended up doing because I ended up in the dark place. Right. And a picture of my... And I was having a migraine. So I, was, I wasn't I was here. Rose was having her dark place. I was also in my dark place. <laughs> But there was a picture of my father and um, holding my ba my sister as a baby, and I thought I don't remember putting that online. And there was a link to the original source, and I recognised that particular forum, and I was like, I don't remember putting that online. I need wanted to, see to know how they got the picture. where that came from and what pe what are people saying about my dad and my sister. Turns out I did put it online um, a couple of years ago. Yeah. But it took me to the bad place, and out of like the one and a half thousand forum pages, I read the last. Three. Yeah, and now uh, we found out some pretty funny stuff. But I woke up from my migraine. <laughs> I was and spiraling. Came downstairs. I was spiraling all afternoon. I was like, "What's happened?" And uh, basically, the, the funniest, one of the funniest things that I read 
was so crazy, Rosie. Like I just read something I crazy did... on Google. I didn't. You go... didn't go to the bad place. I didn't go on to the bad place, but I could see the link to the bad place and uh, and a uh, and a sentence which I'll read you. It doesn't make any sense. Well, none of it makes sense. But this is this is my whole point, right? It's so easy to make a judgment from yeah. something that you see online, yeah. from c- what creators choose to put yeah. out there. They think they know things that they don't know. If you haven't heard it from your rose, it's probably not right because you guys, well, these guys, speak like it's fact. It's fact. Like it's, they're like, it's so, I'm telling you this. It's and so it's like, dogmatic. No. It's so dogmatically spoken. Yeah. And I just think, oh my God, you're so annoying. Anyway, so one of the it's funniest crazy. things that I read was. Rose and... No, I'm going to have to say it how I read it. Yeah, read it in the voice. I can tell you for a fact that Rose and Rosie do not sleep in the same bed. In fact, every time they go abroad, they request they two request. separate beds. Why would we request it? Well, I, I can understand why I'd request it, but why on earth would you request it? No, for real. Like, because every vlog that we probably do, in most hotels, they have two queen beds. That's America. If they'd have seen the and last England. hotel room. <laughs> yeah, we did a cameo in a hotel room. Oh, sorry, I should have put that on Do Not Disturb. Ah. Wow. Dave. Um, anyway. Cut, cut, resume. Um, so, yeah. yeah, so they were speaking like I actually and Rosie actually don't sleep in the but, same but, bed but say, say by they, choice. But why, though? Because say they think say they think we don't have sex, right? Why can you not sleep in oh the same bed? Oh my god, bed? Rosie, there was something so like, funny on there. Even if we weren't having sex, which we are, but even if we weren't, why would we not be able to stand each other in the same bed? Like, what situation like, would I we don't, be I, in? I don't judge couples. Like, do whatever's good for you. But yeah. when have I ever, ever alluded to us not sleeping in the same bed? If anything, you can't spend a night on your own because you no, love sleeping I, in the same bed. In and fact, I do too. Yeah, so fun fact, <laughs> I literally said to Rose recently, so Rose used to go to her mum's once a week, which was fine, um, for various reasons. You were doing Pilates for a while. That didn't last long, then did Then we were just going around to work away from home because we're at home all the time because we work here and we live here. We don't really get in a car and go to an office. So we're at home a lot. We get like stir crazy and need to go out, okay? So, um, and I actually said to you, go to your mum's as much as you want. I'm not stopping you, but please stop staying over because I need you in bed with me at night. That's what's crazy. I was like, I get so scared. I'm scared but, of the dark. But, I hate but, being alone. I never sleep they, well. They must assume that we don't sleep together, we don't have sex, and it's like, where where just, are you getting this yeah. from? I don't, I honestly I just, don't get it. I just don't get with the, even if we didn't have sex, why would we not sleep in the same bed? What's the issue there? Like, like, anyway, so this brings me on to my next point, right? Okay. We must have, we must have told people online about the time we had sex at the gym, right? Yeah, Which we did. did. And... Well, I had I had sex at the gym yeah. because you right. And I went down on you in the gym. Right, and then I didn't back because I think you were on your period or something. I can't even remember. Uh, why. I can't remember what. I actually think actually so, I don't think I was on period. Honestly, I was really really hungry. We hadn't had breakfast, so we basically <laughs> got up at like five in the morning to get to the gym for like six or something in a workout. Then we worked out for an hour. Then we had like a shower. I went down on you because I was just feeling like doing it. Like, I just initiated it. And then I was And like, I was fine with it. And I was like, honestly, if I didn't want you to do it back, I would have made you do it right. back. So <laughs> I read on this forum, some, some fucking hater comes up. By the way, can I just say that I got the most um, negativity. I didn't read anything negative about you, which is very surprising. Because usually I post it very quickly. Anyway. The last time I read it years ago, it was everybody hated me. It was horrible. About, it was mm. things about me I couldn't control. But anyway, we'll go back to that. Yes. Now. Huh? Nothing. Gas. Um, so basically, <laughs> Did someone, you say gas? someone said, someone said um, something about me, like, oh, you know, yeah, Rosie. I feel so sorry for Rosie. Rose is such a handful. You know, Rose can't even get her off at the gym. And, and then she said something like, and I assume it was a I've she. I've got I more assume, to say about the gym. Something like, yeah, Rose can't even make her wife have an orgasm. And I was just like, right. I'm going to intercept and just say something <laughs> deeply, deeply personal, but I'm just going to say it now. Rosie, we don't make edits on this playlist. What that. are you going to say? I know that. Shh. Wow. Okay, go on. Okay. It takes me a really long time to have an orgasm, okay? It takes me a long time. That makes me look so no, good. No, no. It's <laughs> always been like this, no matter who I'm with. Rose gets me there. It takes a long time, but then I'd say it's a really big one. Right, so it's worth the wait. Rose has loads of them like this. Rosie, okay, I, 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 okay. Let's okay, just, just listen. Okay. So honestly, if she, w- I'd already gone down on Rose in the gym, in the shower. We'd already had a shower. If she'd have then gone down on me, it would have taken forty more minutes 
I you was don't hungry. take 40 minutes. It feels like that in my head. You, you get in, in your head and you pa- Okay, I don't want to talk about... Okay, maybe I will. You get in your own head and you uh, panic. Ex-boyfriends and then you get, made me feel like shit. Rosie literally has a little bit of PTSD. Post-traumatic. Yeah, PTSD. PTSD about, about the situation. And I actually do a little bit as well. I'm surprised I'm not more affected by my ex-partner. because We she both was had like, discussing ex-partners who made us feel bad. She was like, you're taking a really long time. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Oh, well done. Wow. Ex- that's going to make it quicker. That's a really hot thing you just said. Please tell me more and make me worry about myself. Right. Please highlight my insecurities. So, it's not like you're shit or anything. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, Projecting. That is crazy to read that on the internet though, isn't it? Like, people just assume discussing that they, our sex life they just but, know. But, but yeah, they, but so that's they it. Know. It's not just them discussing our sex life. Like, fine, you're discussing our sex life. Fine. I get it. We're... On the internet, we've put ourselves in this place where we've put ourselves up for discussion. That's fine. I understand that. I, I'm not arguing that. What I don't get is that they think that they know and they're wrong. Like I can guarantee they don't sleep in the same bed. Well, we do. So what's so, so go and have your life crisis because someone what's wrote, going on? Someone wrote Rose and Rosie have zero chemistry. <laughs> oh my god! And then someone replied to like, oh, what was that? What did you do? Oh, it's okay. It's my phone. And then someone replied saying. If you think Rose and Rosie have zero chemistry, I don't know what you're watching. I don't, I literally... We have a very sisterly chemistry. I don't, no! I don't understand where the confusion lies. I literally, Rose, like, sometimes I... Because Rose, as well as being my wife, my first wife... She, Whoa! Whoa! No, you'll understand. She's my first <laughs> long-term relationship of this length, right? So so we've never been married before. We've, we've committed to each other. We married each other. But at the same time, I've never been in a relationship this long, right? Mm. So this is my first long-term, really long-term relationship, not my first long-term relationship. Right. And so sometimes I literally, like, kind of think to myself... God, we get on so well. Like, literally, we laugh every day. And sometimes I I literally, like, how are we this good? Like, I I didn't... I obviously had, like, toxic relationships around me because I didn't think a long-term relationship was like this. Was this good? I think the problem... that What I got from reading the general gist of these last three pages of forum chat Mm. was that I don't think people believe that our relationship is as good as we portray. Because I think that it as is. soon as we made YouTube our full... I know this because I read these exact words. Right. As soon as we made YouTube our full-time job, people yep. assume we make videos to make a living, which is true. And I think that they think that our entire brand and business relies on the success of our relationship, right? Mm. Which I semi, in a way it does, I semi but, agree but, with. But guys, in a way it does. Yes, our... our, our our, our, why can't I speak? Our wow, career, it's going to be a really been long cut. video. Our career would have, uh, is made by our relationship. But guys, I don't know why, why you think we've got no integrity. Because if my relationship wasn't working, yeah, if our relationship wasn't working, we wouldn't I wouldn't give a YouTube. shit about leaving the business, yeah? <laughs> I'd, I'd say, I'd say, well, it was good while it lasted. I'm grateful for the memories I've made and the things that I've achieved through YouTube. But if, if, if I don't think, if me and Ray split up, I wouldn't try and be a YouTuber. And this is so why, don't worry like, about it. I, I you don't also, need to worry about that. I also get a little bit pissed off because people don't expect or want your content to evolve. And I think mm, I over see. the years, especially as a creator, and so you guys might not necessarily understand that, and I don't mean that in a condescending way, but there is an algorithm that is so secretive, no one understands how to make it work for you. So you have to adapt your content yeah. in order for it just to be seen. But also, in, for me to say sane, like, I can't be making the exact same content I was when I was, I don't know, 21 and dating Rose. Right. So now I want to have a baby and I'm married to Rose. It's different. It's My different. life is different. My maturity levels are different. My mental health is different. Well, let's different. not get too crazy. Baby. But I think that that, that, that that does annoy me a bit because people think that we need to be in the very early mm. stage of a relationship forever and that just can't happen mm. but one thing I'm very proud of is the fact that Rosie and I are still a visible LGBT married couple who are at a stage in their lives that's really exciting and yeah. so far I haven't seen many people get there online no, people no always shade break LA up. but all the no, shade all the lesbian <laughs> YouTubers break up it makes me scared to like a, a lesbian YouTuber break up. they will all break up Rosie they they Rosie, I, you can't say you that. You love me for my shocking opinion, okay? No, I don't believe that they'll all break up. Okay. I don't believe that they'll that's, all break that's up. Fine. I that's believe, your I believe that a lot of them have broken up, but I don't believe that they all... Or it depends what you classify as a lesbian YouTuber, actually. If you're talking about the YouTubers that just do YouTube in and are lesbians, then maybe. 
but a lot of our friends who are together aren't all also aren't YouTubers, but also I live wasn't. In LA. Talk, I was talking about YouTubers. Fine. Then. I wasn't talking about our friends. Problematic. No, oh, you just, no, mean, no, really? you just mean like okay, all right, yeah, now I get it. Well, I I don't know. I think that's a, that's that's a that's a hey, bold. You statement. don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. She's, I always worry. You don't need to. I'm allowed to have an opinion. Wow. Yeah, I'm allowed to have an forum. opinion. But I just said I'm scared to really like another couple in case they break up. Oh, I thought you said they'll all break up. I think they'll all break up. That sounds like the dogmatic attitude I would have read on a forum. That's all. Are you an anonymous but member? I'm allowed to have an opinion. No. Yeah. You, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. The answer is yeah. There's something I was going to say, and now I've lost my own train of thought. Oh, probably because you're being so problematic. Oh, that's going to really annoy me. Let me carry on. Oh, though, go on. You I read something. Lots of, yeah, no, I read... Uh, my, what didn't I read? But um, but it just brings me back to the fact that, yeah, okay, so one of the things that was quite prevalent was that our videos are slightly more performative and people started second-guessing whether they were scripted. I don't think they are performative. They're, they're not... They're, okay, I think, so we direct, I don't think they are we direct our attention to the viewers because that's... That's the relationship. Are you saying we, we look at the camera when we, we talk. look at the camera and that's we not talk. performing? That's and just we, looking in front of me. And we have themed themed videos because if we didn't, what would there be? We we're, mm. we're not in the stage where we're getting to know each other anymore. Even though yeah. we're at an exciting stage in our lives. And trust me, this is why why I'm slightly resentful today because I and you share everything pretty much 95 percent mm-hmm. of everything that happens some of in it our we lives, don't even realize we're sharing we're with just you open. and trust me we have a lot more that we plan to share so what annoyed me was when i read and it was directed at me right that i was seemingly less authentic as i was and i think that's because no, that's not true i do an intro i do an outro and even though that might seem polished it's certainly not scripted no and um and it annoyed me. It really it did, it got You're to me. You're not less authentic. And it annoyed me. I annoyed myself that I even let it annoy me. Because I was like, yeah. I shouldn't let anybody's opinions of my evolved content affect me. Yeah. Because if I wasn't moving forward and growing and changing things up, then I would be worried that it was just the same stale format. Yeah, it would be stale. Right. Um, and, and it would almost be, it would be disingenuous to try and eke out, like stretch out that same old right. content, that tired content. No, right. I'm just going to go with what I'm interested in, what I'm feeling like. And even, go with though, the flow. even though I understand some people's um, opinions about affection and how we show it. So yeah. basically I read that I seem less affectionate in our recent videos to date than I did at the beginning. And let me tell you why that's not true. Even though on screen that's probably seemingly true. Um, I didn't want to get to the position where we had a big audience. We know we're nearly a million... No, we're not. We are, but yeah. I mean, yeah. We're nearly 900,000. I did not want to abuse... um, I showing think, you affection yeah, to yeah. garner an even bigger yeah. audience yeah. of the wrong people. Yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah. want to get men interested in our channel. Only we were, not, not, not men. We didn't want to not get men. We the didn't wrong want type men who of man. just want to see lesbians right. kissing. I didn't want that to become the channel. I also didn't actually want originally being gay to be the forefocus of the channel because I, be- I believed that we were our own people you and being be gay didn't define who we were. Yeah. Even though having said that, I do think it's very important to um, be visible and I'm, I'm learning more about that every day but yeah I was upset that people didn't think that I was affectionate towards you and a few people said whenever you hug me I do that and get you off me which is true and I'll tell you the honest reason why the reason I do that is because I've got a huge problem with people touching my face and that comes from having That's acne true. for like 15 years I hate anyone or That's even true. myself touching my jawline I'm like oh I've done my makeup I I, I, I don't want you to just know I like can you just so I've automatically got a response of being like this because like covering my spots the way that I used to have to do it has just left me very sensitive about people touching me yeah. even you Basically and that's just me. that's let just me my touch thing my, you let me touch your face when I need to touch your face it's right fine. I don't need to <laughs> I get I get it what you mean I think Rose worries that it would look also really cringy yeah like we're a bit older now we want to have a baby we're married we're only a little are we bit gonna older. sit here and make out no it's I'm not gonna do strange. that I think it's 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 cringy it's kind of mm. insulting to you for me to be like oh okay so maybe the algorithm isn't pushing lgbt content as much as it should should we kiss well number one no the algorithm will not like that and number two if we did do that and then got loads of views 
do I have any integrity left? Not mm. really. And I'd rather stick to my guns, produce content mm. that I want to make, regardless of who's watching, um, and always be in, you know, have integrity. Yeah. You but know? I think, I think um, we're just doing a video. Wait, I need to see if this is still recording, because it might split it up. You might have to Hold do on. that several times. Let time. me just see. Okay, it's still recorded. Do you Shall need I to break split it up? up? Okay, we're going to break up. Okay, gonna... the only reason we're making a cut here is because my camera only co- records for like... After 20 like minutes, 20 it minutes. cuts out and then we start But again. I'm literally just going to start up straight straight away. Yep. No cheating. That's no cheating. cheating. I know what we could do. We could keep the voice playing so they know there's no cheating. Lol. Right, and then turn it on again. And then resync it up. Ready. Okay, resync it. Yeah, that'll do. I'm even going to leave the little black yeah. slug we'll in there. We'll leave the black slug so, so that no people cheating. can still... Right, okay, so, excuse me. Oh, oh beautiful, Sometimes beautiful. it happens. Wait, I had something to say anyway. Um, yes, so this is what I read. Uh, I didn't go on this evil place, but literally just on Google, you'll be able to see it. It says this. People talk strange. I don't know what people they're People talk shit. Here it is. Here it is. So look, I'm not... I don't want to look at it. No, but I'm on Google. Look, where was it? Wait. Yes. Both have always diseases, and I'm starting to worry about a possible pregnancy. I mean, Rosie hinted many times that she would love to, and then I can't read it because I'm not on it. Um, both, so yes, both always have diseases. I have a cold I, right now. I don't think someone knows what disease is. I think because maybe, right, as a YouTuber, and lots of people genuinely go through this as a creator, you stay in your house a lot of the time. So the moment, I mean, Rosie and I recently went abroad and this is another thing that we'll, we'll be sharing everything with you, but we right now it. we're not at that place. Yeah. So we recently went abroad for 24 hours for a very, very important meeting mm-hmm. and I got ill straight away from being in an airport because I'm not usually like surrounded by germs or other people. So I do get a cold it's every time I leave blue. the fucking country. Yeah, I do. If you know what fresh um, flu is, it's because you go away to uni and you're suddenly meeting loads of new people and you've never met them before and there's just loads of new germs right. and even if they're not ill you're exposed to so many new germs that you're not used to you get ill right that's fresh as flu right. we get that every time we go abroad because it's kind we of work pathetic. at home we only see the same people you know our friends and our family and our neighbors or whatever and so when we go somewhere else we're like what the hell because we don't travel for work or whatever really right we don't exactly go exactly many places so so yeah, I think that's me. I'm sorry if this is a slightly more serious video, but I think that's actually what people wanted yeah. to see. Cause like, I, I read a lot that people assumed that I was a real handful to be married to. And that I was, makes me annoyed because I'm the handful and I like that and you like that. I think it's You because, like that. I think it's because when we make videos, it's like, we, I do go into, and it's not contrived it, I don't or think it's performing. I think it's, it's just being performing. good at your job it's after just, years. I, I go into like camera, I call it camera mode because it's just me, but like hyper, I guess, or like a little bit, the energy's up because... That's yeah, what I like to do. Because we're not going to go, hi guys, hi welcome guys. back to the internet. Um, um, yeah. I feel like shit today. You're not going to do but that. But it's not a lie. I'm always happy to, I always yeah. enjoy making videos. Because we don't, we don't film when we don't feel like it. Like, we were supposed to film this yesterday or maybe the day before, but I had loads of migraines. And I had a cold and, and I wasn't Rose, feeling Rose it. Has, I was not vibing. She still has a bit of a cold. You know? Um, but I think it's really important to have this conversation because a lot of people, I say a lot of people, it must have been like two people, but Can you I know. I say, sorry to interrupt your flow, but this is like a podcast. I know. With video. But yeah, no. A really uplifting <laughs> Where well, we bitch um, about people. Yeah, cold. a lot of people were like, a lot of people, you know when you read like one bad comment out of a hundred but the one bad comment is the one that you yeah take on but board. let me add to that it, it would be hard enough if my friend said something mean to me right, right? or if someone i knew and this is someone who doesn't even know you telling you that you don't sleep in the same bed with your wife when you do telling you that you can't give me an orgasm when you can <laughs> like what kind of that that that's Please. hurtful <laughs> and untrue and you Please. can't control it you can't if there's anything it. i've ever doubted in my life my sexual performance is not one of them it i'm get, sorry i'm saying what i'm saying it gets better i don't know Thank how you. it's been we've been together what, eight years this year I and just, it's like how is it I'm getting sorry better? i've never ever had any insecurities in that department whatsoever and i was just born ready God. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so this is one thing that upset me because um, I have OCD. Does it affect my life? Yes, it does. Is it annoying? Yes, it is. But does that make me a nightmare to live with? Yes, it does. The only <laughs> bit that's annoying at night, right? I'll tell you what Rose no. is doing. No. She needs to fucking stop. All right. But other than that, it's fine. Like, 
whatever. But everybody has their shit. Like, oh, oh God, shoot me down. Yeah, I've got a disorder that is fuck. Is it? Do you not think it's annoying yeah. for me? <laughs> it's fucking annoying for me. All right, me All right say, say it. it. So basically, at night, Rose obviously like wants to check things, and she goes, um, "Rosie, I, did you feed the cat? Yeah, I fed the cat. Okay. Did you? Did you? yes." I fed the cat. I just said I fed the cat. Okay, so like... I didn't lie. I fed the cat. Okay, cool. <laughs> Rosie, so he's, you, he's you got really hungry. So he fed the cat, and I'm like, <sighs> so I've got I this, just want to sleep. I've got this new thing where I'm only satisfied when, when Rosie raises her voice, so I know a hundred percent she's done go, it. Yes, I fed the cat. I'm like, that's all I needed. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. All right, yeah, it's annoying. But am I day to day high maintenance? No, I don't think so. I think I'm very like. I think I'm pretty easy going. I mean, so okay, I'm not the... <laughs> I'm not the most relaxed person all the time, but I'm not, like, problematic. I'm not, like, trying to start arguments ever. We rarely ever argue. Apart from the other day when I called you a lazy twat and you went off in the car and I worried for an hour. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, do you know, I, I've never gone off in the car. Why? Well, because I, I couldn't drive. Absolutely, you never do, never do that again. Ever. I'll do it and if you call me a lazy twat again. You don't speak to me like that. Claims that you were lazy the other day twice no, in one day. Yes, you fucking. It's only okay when lie. I say it. That's not fair. Bobby. 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 Um. Yeah. So. So. Where was I? That. Yeah. So that annoyed me. You have OCD, me. but you're not. You don't meet your high majors. Yeah, but God, Rose must be so difficult. This, this, like, you don't have to sit here and justify yourself, though. Don't tell me what I can and cannot say ever. You don't. You don't. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you don't have. To, I know. It doesn't matter. If they, I know because because Rose, we might sit here and say we do sleep in the same bed, right? But if they they might make up another rumor. Whatever. Hey, listen. What are we going to do listen, about listen, it? Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. I, I know gone, where I sleep. I've gone literally five years not even reading it. And even when I did, I often just brush these things off. I did. But mm. sometimes I think it's good to sit down and just have a reality check for a second. I don't feel yeah, like I'm Yeah, but is it I'm reality? Being, is it, it reality? Listen, I don't feel like I'm being on the defensive because I'm so butthurt. I'll be honest and say I was a little bit butthurt about the fact that, you know people thought I was less authentic as I used to be. There's a difference between Neither of us are less authentic. having content evolve and... And evolving as people. And, and evolving as people and lying yeah. or being scripted yeah. or being so contrived to the point that you don't know what's natural and what's not. Yeah. Um, Our relationship has changed over the years, mm-hmm. yeah? So, like, um, you know, they might be like, Rose pushes Rosie away. No, okay, whatever. But, like... We had sex the other afternoon and it was great. It was great. But our relationship our relationship has changed. I think that I'm not the same person I was. You're more the same as you were. I've got I... paranoia that it stopped recording. Okay. I'm checking it. It's okay, Rosie. It's still recording. Okay, we'll carry on. We'll continue. Um, but, yeah, like, things just change and I'm glad it's not stuck in the same and... I it don't hasn't know been up how and it down. Can. It's been, like... It's not been up and down in our relationship. It's more been, like... The way Rose, Rose's role in the relationship, my role in the relationship, that changes as we've gone through it's things. It's like that episode of Friends, though, where Phoebe has Gary, her new boyfriend, and Monica's constantly competing with Chandler to be the hot, new, sexy couple, right? And then Chandler says, well, I'm more excited about where we are now. Mm. It's not even like we aren't all over each other all the time, though. Yeah. This is the thing. It's just what we choose to put we out We are there. in, like, the most exciting time of our lives, 100%. I think. 100%. I'm way more excited it's now than I was exciting. even at the beginning. Yeah. Seriously, for real. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's so easy to fall into that that trap of of looking online and being like, well, that's the only portrayal of them. That's that's what it is. That's it. In mm. a, that's it. That encompasses their entire relationship. That seven to ten minutes they put out weekly. That's it. They do not sleep in the same bed. <laughs> that's crazy. I know, right? What's even crazier is that someone wrote me a song. Yeah, it's really good. Wait, I'll get it up. <laughs> no, oh my God. Rose has got a song. Right, I want to talk about this. I've never spoke about this on camera. We have this joke that, it's funny because you were saying how they were saying that you were less authentic and uh, the bitching on the forum was about you, right? Yeah. But we have this joke that everybody cares more about Rose than me, right? For example, Ali Hills wrote Rose a song. She didn't write me a song. And then Rose always gets invitations to act in, in TV shows, right? They're always like, Rose, do you want to act in this show? And it just upsets me because... And it's, films. And films. TV shows, films, plays, whatever. And um, 
It upsets me because I would also like to act. I don't know if I'm as good as Rose. I might not be, right? But what I wish is they'd give us auditions. And then if, if I lost... It's not problematic I, at all, is no, it? If I had an audition and I lost, I could be like, oh, okay, I'm not as good or I need to learn or whatever. But anyway, they just like, Rose, do you want to be in this show? And now someone's written her a song called Rose Ellen Dix. No, but the sure. thing is, Ali Hills, I'm, I'm not being rude, but it, it's blows, not it blows your shit song out the water, mate. Um, it's so good. Okay, Can I just say, do you remember that time I tweeted Ali Hills and Amy Oldman in the same tweet in that reply and none of them even liked it or responded? And then I worried for like a week. I didn't really worry though. I was like, if they're mad, they're mad. I don't actually care. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to this song. Right, Can we find who who actually Wayflow? Wrote... This Jash is so and good. Hunter. It's Stranger Things. Now vibes. you said you're not gonna edit this. Do shall I skip ahead? No, just fucking play it. I, I don't swear care. It's got a really long intro. What's funny is that I, I sent it. Song. I sent it to all of our friends, and they're like obsessed. I noticed it's the last one on the album. I'm gonna sneeze in a minute. Bless you. Thanks. Walking down the street. I do that. Shaking, Shaking my, hips. my hips. I don't do that. Dance to my heartbeat. I could do that. It's called Rose Allen Dix. I'll take, take the, the risk. risk. You, can't you can't mess with me. I don't hear that. I've, I've got, got new tricks. tricks. God, I feel so cool. Like Rosalind. <laughs> she says, she says. No, no, play it. Okay, fine. Bruce was like, I'm gonna drive my car listening to this. <laughs> you need it on your head. This is my theme tune. Dicks. Is she saying I'm Rose Ellen Dicks? She wishes. Right, listen, this is my favourite. I buy I something, I at drug drug store. something at the drugstore. I asked you out and you, you said, said no. no. Don't give a crap, I'm too cool, yo. You can't mess with me. I don't hear what she says. I've got new tricks. I've got Babe, news for that you. Chorus. I've got news for you, I've got new tricks. God, I feel so cool. Like Rosella Dix. Like I'm Rosella Dix. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. It's been two I and mean, a half minutes. That's Crazy cool. You have a song on Spotify called Rizzelli. Who, who actually wrote it? Someone called Wayflow. You're so cool. I Literally, you're so cool. I think that's the best thing that's ever happened on the internet. I mean, probably not. What's this? Rory Sticks' network oh, and so biography. I wanted, I wanted to show you something really funny I found. Camera right? paranoia. Okay, we're going to see if the camera's still working. Do you want to break up? Okay. No, it's all good. Okay, listen to this. It's so funny, right? This is what I found on the internet about you, right? Yeah. About Miss Rose Ellen Dix, right? Company check, right? Okay. <laughs> listen. The combined cash at bank value for all businesses where Rose holds a current appointment equals naught pounds. A combined total current assets assets value of eighty nine pounds three pence. Rosie, that's eighty nine thousand pounds. That. Oh. With total current liabilities of £73,000 and a total current net worth of £33,000. Is oh. that it? <laughs> so your net worth thirty three here, but I saw somewhere else it said your What's net worth... What's my net worth here? Hang on. And why is it just mine? Net Surely that it should be just... times two then, because Here I'm... it says estimated net worth between 100 k and 1 million, which is not vague at all. That's too low. I can tell you now, truth be told, that's too low. Rose Dix dead or alive? Ah! <laughs> Famous YouTube star hey. Rose Dix is alive. Hey, look at this. Some facts about Rose Ellen Dix. Rose Dix is age 29 years mm. old. You're quite mm. right. Um, anything else? Um, yeah, I've got a few of these with different net worths. 
Okay. Oh, my God. Net worth is so funny. Oh, look. It says your body measurements, and it thinks it knows your bra size. It says Rosie's body type banana. What the heck does that mean? Rosie's Rosie's body type banana. Banana. What? Like, long and yellow? Like a poo. That's just... Hang on. Right, age. Yeah, I got it right. That's crazy. Height, five foot seven. Are you five foot seven? I'm five foot six. Yeah, okay. And then it says... In kilograms, your overall body weight is 60 kilograms. Yeah, that's right. Is it? Yeah. 132 pounds. It's about nine stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How do they know that? It says body measurements, 34A, 2635. No, that's not my bra size. That's my bra size. I'm 30 weight. They're saying 3426. I think 30 B. I think your waist is, is really small. It's 30. I think it's smaller than that. No, it's 30. It's not smaller than that. that yeah, but if your boobs are 30... What am I, a banana? <laughs> Listen, if your boobs are 30, your waist is not 30. You've got a tiny waist. No, my waist is 30. My boobs are something else. I, I like 34 or something. What else? Your waist is not graduated. 30. Let me tell you why. Because my waist was 27. Babe, my, 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 my bra it? size waist. Yeah, 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 yeah. But your waist... That's not... Bra and waist are different. Oh. You, you have bra... Waist. I and know. Hips. I know. I know. Babe, my waist was twenty seven. Your waist is like twenty three or something. You've no, got Rosie, tiny your waist. IQ was twenty seven. I don't know if that's good or bad. Neither do I. Says your shoe size is seven. Wrong. Right. It's a six. Um, let's have a look. Marital status: have, unmarried. Have parents? Yes. Cool. Rose's mother's name. Update soon. You're quite right. That's her middle okay. name. So Barbara. Update here, soon. Two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand a prop. Where did they get I these don't know, net worths wrong. from? This is crazy. It's a lovely picture of me. Stunning. I took that. It's good, isn't it? Anyway, that was our rant, um, and also us reacting to Life the best subjects. Whoa, whoa. Um, let us know in the comments if this was a video that you, you enjoyed. If you want an uncut series. I know the uncut series is probably slightly less, but I actually kind of enjoy just talking sometimes honestly mm. if I have a problem that it I want to share. It could be, I have no idea how long we film for, but it could be a long time. Like, So if you want them uncut, raw, and you and a series of them, we won't stop the other videos, obviously. I'll never stop lesbian confessions. As long as people have something to confess, I will. <laughs> I will want to talk about it. Um, I've got something to confess. I um, sleep in separate beds with my wife. Is that okay? Yes, it's fine. I, I demand it. Also, I can't get her off at the gym. I'm and really we have many diseases. So many. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And we will see you this time next week. Mwah! Yeah. Bye. Bye! God, we're good. We're so good, aren't we? I know. Did you, you actually followed that script perfectly. Thank you. It well, didn't did come across as real. I think so. I think it came across as natural. Yeah. yeah. So Why? that's yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think we've put that rumour to bed now about us not sleeping in the same bed? I'm not sure, but my net worth yeah. is like five million, so yeah. lol. Anyway, cool.